for reasons of time, I'm going to be very, I'll give an abbreviated version of what I intended. And for those of you who have questions or want details, I'll do so at, at the uh, uh, during questions and answers. The legitimate controversy, to give a typical example, is the refugee question, where people can agree on basic factual questions, legal questions, moral questions, but still disagree in their political uh, opinion. What does that mean? Well, take the uh, example of Professor Chomsky. You ask him, he won't argue what happened in 1948 was an ethnic cleansing. That's a factual question on which virtually all historians now agree. Legally, or I should say morally, it's plainly an abomination, an ethnic cleansing. Legally, Palestinians have the right of return. That too is uncontroversial. But politically, one can make the argument, and he believes it, that it's not really feasible, that it's not going to happen. And therefore, you shouldn't give people hope, in this case the refugees, if the hope is unrealistic. And so honest people, I think, can disagree on that particular question. Um, that uh, you know, political judgment is just that. It's a weighing of a thousand different factors, and people when weighing all these different factors, international uh, questions, local questions, all sorts of things, they can reach different conclusions. And I don't think that's grounds for drumming anybody out of the movement. I think we just have to agree to disagree. However, we agree to disagree with uh, two caveats. Number one, there is no question under international law that Palestinians have the right of return. That is not an ambiguous issue. Human Rights Watch 2000 issues a statement. The statement says it urges Israel to recognize the right of return. Amnesty International 2001 issues a statement calls for Palestinians to be able to exercise the right of return. The legal question is unambiguous. And I can go through a lot of the history of that, but time doesn't allow me. Uh, and the second point is, you can disagree on the question of the refugees, but the broader question of how to resolve the conflict. There is no legitimate disagreement. There's been a consensus for the past 30 years. The consensus has been de uh, defied by the United States and Israel, or Israel and the United States, however you prefer to look at the relationship between the two. Uh, let me now turn quickly to the fabricate forms of controversy. The first kind is this mystifying of the conflict. The claim that it's so complicated that you have to have a knowledge the equivalent of rocket science to penetrate its mysteries. That it's about a cosmic clash of civilizations, a cosmic clash of religions, that it's so unique that it can't be compared to any other conflict. Well, the purpose of this claim about the uniqueness of the conflict, the political purpose, is pretty straightforward. Number one, the claim is that uh,